All right, guys, welcome back to Abalon. Let us proceed to our adventure. Defeat three powerful bosses across ever-changing worlds. Choose a difficulty. Three lives, partial recovery, harder encounters, increased enemy health. One life, permanent death, hardest encounters, highest enemy health. Let's go with advanced. Um, what do we got? We got the druid. <laughs> We got the little pyromancer, or Lee, Lee the pyromancer, and Taurus the battle mage. So you go with fire and brimstone. We'll get to look at them. Pyromancers reveal in unle revel, revel in unleashing the raw destructive power of chaos magic. Rain fiery death upon the battlefield and leave nothing but ash in your wake. Wake. Okay. Then we got Adept at Sword and Sorcery. The Battle Mage deflects enemy magics while his own empowered spells send enemies flying into traps and waiting combo attacks of his allies and the waiting combo attacks of his allies, which is this Dragon Whelp. Deals two damage, fire in the range cone of three. Fireball, Chain Lightning. Sounds pretty good. Um... Cleansing fire, remove all debuffs from an ally. If it's chaos, heal for four, or remove all debuffs or buffs from an enemy. Fire elemental and conflagration. Do a channel of fury, which is we had before. So this is the ability. What's the abilities? Fireball, fire power, fire shot, deal two damage and one damage to surrounding units. That's pretty powerful. Lunge spell block. Your damage spells get knocked back too could be kind of fun let's go with the lead the pyromancer customizing the deck we could throw some nervy things in could we choose three cards only chain lightning deal three damage apart on up to three enemies closest and visible to each other it's kind of cool it's a fire spell apparently okay Dragon Whelp, get a couple of... Deal two damage to everything but adjacent allies. Or a fireball. Alright, let's do... Let's go with that. Choose a biome. Random, harvest, snow, dungeon, forest, desert. Let's go random. So you wish to roll the dice and brave the unknown. Well, fortune favors the bold. Just don't complain about the RNG, remember? You chose this path. Good luck and safe channels on your journey. One to five. Oh, there's different difficulties. One to three. One to three. Two to three. Four to five. Three to four. All right, let's just do a dungeon. In the depths of the underground labyrinth, the skeletons of fallen warriors rise to command of to the command of a dark presence that is awakened. In combat, make use of the hazardous spike traps to your advantage or find yourself a permanent addition to the tombs within. Let's do it. Chapter one. The dungeon entrance to the first boss lies ahead on the path. Great peril and chance encounters await in the dark mist that surrounds this place. Help your summon explore and battle by building a deck of magic, recruiting new team members and finding lore to reveal the secrets of your enemy. Defeat the boss to win. All right, so we can go any which way. How open is this? Like, can we just go up? No. We can go down here, though, interesting enough. Hmm. Do we go along the path or off the path? Oh, down into a dungeon. Some barrels are down there. Fairies. Fairies are small winged humanoids known for their playful nature. When successfully amused, they are generous with their powers and bestow amazing gifts upon the one they are infatuated with. But be careful! Furries are also known to be tricksters. You found lore. Lore reveals secrets of the biome you are exploring within Abalon. Use this knowledge to inform your, inform your strategy, complete your lore collection to unlock rewards. So we're going to make them laugh. Is that what it said? I just forgot it instantly. 
World map. Areas have explored are marked on your map. Interactive with the map to learn more about areas and fast travel to that location. Okay. There's lore up there, is there? Progression. Is that where, uh... Chapter score? Is that my other run from ages back? Where's that lore we got? No idea. Alright, let's destroy this. Nothing. Let's see what's in here. Nothing much. So there's some lore in here. A doice? Skeletal necromancers. Once powerful wizards. The dark magics of the void have doomed these skeletal beings to the life of eternal war. The necromancers harness the dark arts to summon skeletal warriors whenever they, she attacks. Quite quickly, the battlefield is filled with undead minions storming her enemies. Okay. Oh, here's the lore. Um, amazing gifts upon amuse. We gotta amuse the fairies. I can't go that way either. So that's that's it. So that's just a little section of the map. And now we gotta go down this down the tunnel. Alright. Gotta go the right way, mate. <coughs> down we go. More boxes to explore. Defeating a lich. Should you encounter a lich, dispose of its corporal form and its legion of undead will fall with it. Avoid direct melee at all costs. If you face a constant uphill battle as it uses your own life force to replenish itself, attack the rear and use combos to avoid its counter attack. If you have the magic to do so, freeze it and never let up the fight. All right, don't melee a lich. Okay, so we got multiple, wow, this is a lot bigger. There's a golden key down here. Maybe that's the boss. Got small keys that way. Oops. Just gonna get a, a little bit of fresh air. Now I feel refreshed and ready to go. So this will be stuff we have to unlock maybe. You need a skeleton key to unlock this. Okay. Is that a skeleton key or is this a skeleton key? Let's go down to one of these then. I don't know about that gold one just yet. Here we go. Is this a lich? Tactical hit this battle may be too difficult to win with your current resources. You can use this button to order a tactical retreat. You may retreat for free after the first scouting an area. If you decide to fight, you'll need to pass a dice roll to retreat. Void Necromancer. 13 health with a single... Okay. We can retreat for free. Successful after initial scouting an area if you take... If you try and retreat later, it's harder. Okay, we'll retreat from that. If it says we should retreat, let's retreat. This looks easier, maybe. Two health. I can just kill it in one hit. Just like that. Cleansing fire. Oh yeah, what is up in these sections? Campfire, is this armor? Obsessed with immortality. They say the Lich King was once a top scholar of the academic Academy of Arcane Arts. Obsessed with becoming immortal, he dabbled into the forbidden arts of necromancy and was cast out. Imperial Armor. A satchel card. Equipment Armor 2. One-time use card that can be played from your satchel while not in combat to prepare for your next battle or unlock a benefit. Um, does it only get used once? Okay, satchel cards are powerful one-time use items. Unlike other cards, satchel cards can only be played while not in combat. 
Unless noted otherwise, satchel cuts effect lasts until the end of your next battle. Rare satchel cuts can last for the entire adventure or even unlock new abilities and quests for future adventures. So that looks like it's not rare. Um, next battle or unlock a benefit. Doesn't really say. But I'm guessing it's only for one battle. Oh, some equipment. Buckler. Next physical attack from front sides. Human ally. We got another one of these. So, why does it say cost two? What was that button now? Noise. Wait, where was that? Oh, was that um, an actual spell? Okay. I'm sure this will be safe. Suspicious Tomb. The sarcophagus is inscribed with a cryptic symbol. An unsettling cacophony of scratching sounds can be heard from inside. Are they all like that? No. Literally, that's the only one. Well, if it's only one guy, we should be able to take him out. Giant beetles emerge from the tomb. Beetles skitter off. You find piece, a piece of equipment. Let's do two. 15 to 20. Nice. Equip armor. Dwarven armor. Oh, so that's a spell. Okay. Extra three health. So that's all done. So that's a hard fight. Are they saying elite with lore? Let's go down here then. Just exploring it all. Let's not walk up the stairs again. Just one massive corridor. Alright. A heap of rats. One oh there's rats everywhere. How far do you move? Alright, so we I've only got one health, yeah? So nothing can attack us. We should be fine here. Oh, look at all the cards. Doo -doo. Can you get around there? Doesn't look like it. Uh-oh, they can now. We can't move. Oh, maybe they can't get to us. Smashed everything. So now we got we got um more cleansing. Do we have to take them? Choose one. Ooh, celestial shield. Surprise. Effect hidden from opponent until triggered. Prevent next damage. Gain armor five until the end of on target ally. Of turn on target ally. Deal two shock damage to everything in the line from the caster. Fly down floor. Return this card to owner's hand. Immune to freeze. That seems pretty cool. Take that. A phoenix. Let's go see if we can open that chest. So I guess we'll use the armor before we take on that nearly got up there. That lich guy. We have a skeleton key. Marshmallows allow a delicious treat beloved by the character of, of Albalon. Abalon. They are also a vital resource representing your camp supply. Spend five marshmallows to restock depleted cards. Cool. Five. We've only got three. Let's head back down here. This golden key. Oh, that... Huh. Did we get a golden key? I think you just got a standard key. Um... Blitz Underworld Shop. We've got 250 gold. Block flying. 
She seems pretty strong as well. I quite like summoning lots of stuff. Deal four dam fire damage to visible three times three area. That could be damn useful as well. That's even stronger, but oh, it does three damage instead of four. Let's grab that for now. Remove your summoner from the board until the start of your next turn. Huh. Interesting. All right, what is all, all this stuff? Can we speak to the shopkeeper to buy an item? Okay, don't destroy stuff. He won't, doesn't like it. Okay, this looks pretty hard as well. Let's have a look. Deal three shock damage to it, up to three enemies. Six damage, piercing, lifesteal. Wow. So this will do a lot of damage to all of them. Seems kind of good. And we can't attack. We can attack as well as do that. What is this? Is this bad if we destroy this? Invulnerable and anchored. Okay. Holy moly. Did you just steal the key? Can they not get through? Yeah, they can. They can just go straight up the top. Uh, removal debuff from an ally. Gain two armor. I guess we have to do this stuff. Yeah. If we gain three armor, they do nothing. But we can probably take a single piece of damage. Can he get to us? He can't get to us. We might be able to do a sneaky double hit here afterwards. Oh, that guy went on a, a trigger. We just killed them both. I just used that thing for no reason. All right, let's not land on the traps. So these getting items, sometimes you don't want them because they're not as good, but weapons of the Lich King, an ancient being battled throughout the ages. The twisted, withered Lich King is a formidable opponent in combat armed with two powerful weapons. Its enchanted sword cuts effortlessly through both armor and shield. Its sinister energy staff sucks the life force from its victims and replenishes the Lich's health. Choose a card. Is this upgrading it? No. So we've got a 2 to 5. Deal 3 damage when melee attacked. Deal 2 damage to everything but adjacent allies again. This one seems pretty strong. These are just pretty weak. So when it dies for the first time, it comes back out? Or just every turn? We'll grab this guy. Got a lot of cards. Another chest. We have got a key. Uh, satchel card. Start the next battle with one extra mana. It's pretty good. Snake oil. A collection of scorpion tails, yellow jacket stingers, and snake teeth lie scattered on the table. Further evidence. From the open journal, this alchemist was making a potion claim not to only to cure, but to prevent the effects of poison. Were they successful? A small amount of the latest brew still lingers in the vat. We'll drink it. Oh gosh. One to nine. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna put two again. Nineteen. We are immune to poison. Gain immune to poison until end of battle. It's just a single use. Okay. Can we destroy these things? No. Interesting. Spiders? No. What have we got through here? We don't want to land in a room that we've missed on purpose. Whoa. Three damage each. So we could definitely do this. And just instantly kill them all. That seems pretty damn good. 
We could have used the explosions, actually. But we've done. We've done it. Money. Card. I feel like there should be a skip key for these um, cards. Another camp. We haven't found any um, companions yet. Boss key. Oh, okay. We're trying to find the boss key. And I guess this means it could be here. <coughs> Alright. Do we get the satchel cards back after a camp? I doubt it. Whoa. Alright, I guess we're going to cast one of these dudes. And then we can kill all of these guys at once. Seems pretty worth it. I really like my hero. Grab that. What's this vent do? Anything? Nothing. Doesn't really matter if they hit him. You can grab those if you want, mate. Because he's not ranged, is he? No. Boom, boom. Oi! I didn't know they could shoot so far away. Makes sense. Damn. Well, oh, that heals us and gives us extra. Maddened by eternity. Maddened by the ravages of eternity, the Lich King was convinced of a most unsettling notion. Existence is nothingness. We are empty beings devoid of meaning. Our only salvation can be to sedate the constant hunger of the void by consuming life. Well. Wow. Should we try and take on this main dude yet? I feel like we need one extra person with us. This person looks like they might want to join us. Mercenary for hire. A formidable looking warrior offers to join your adventure for 300 gold. We don't have it just yet. Maybe in this chest there might be some more gold. Nope. We'll find some more gold, don't you worry. Oh, a griffin. That would be amazing to have a griffin with us. Open the cage. Let's put three in. Damn. See you later, Griffin. We tried. Oh, are these just dead? Yes. Tell you what, this spell we've got is flipping awesome. Money. Beware the meat shield. Never underestimate the cunningness of the Lich King. Just when we thought we had won the battle, it summoned a heinous being of soon sewn together corpse flesh. The Scotland was a literal meat shield, absorbing all damage we dealt to the Lich King and replenishing him. Uh-oh. Shaman Staff. Support. Remove debuffs. Heal four. Okay. Equipment. So it's going to go into our deck. Okay. All right. What the heck? Fallen Kingsman. Summon. Uh, knock back. So this guy is a actual dude. What is he going to summon? Oh, look. There's um, Thingamagig. So, but we can't attack and move at the same time, unfortunately. I can't move more, so you, once you've moved, that's it. Chain Lightning will hit me. Three damage to the enemy and give them minus one attack. You've been active, afflicted with a debuff. Right click to unit to view its debuffs listed with the arrow down. Unless specified, otherwise debuffs last till the end of battle. You can move it us with curative spells, healers, and stuff. Yep. This takes it away. And heals us for four. We could also just hit this guy in the face. He will heal from that though. I mean, if Chaos heal for four, is this guy Chaos? This is, oh, Chaos unit. How much damage does this guy do? Four. That'd be perfect. Are we a chaos unit? 
we are a Chaos Summoner. Oh, we've lost lots of HP. So we should use this on ourselves. Wait, what? Oh, is that like... I now have that weapon equipped? I don't have the fast shot anymore. I have support, remove debuff, heal four. Whoops. All right, because we made that massive mistake, we might have to summon another dude here. Hmm. Mistakes were made. Should we hit the guy? Might as well. Oh, now we can heal him. Okay, that worked out okay, I guess. Minus one. Plus one attack. Give all units what? Ow. Is he still alive? This guy's a boss. Okay. Um, so we could heal him and get his debuffs off him. This guy's got five attack now, which is crap. Sucky. Um, but maybe we can get this guy to take the hit. <laughs> okay, cool. So now he's got extra damage. Um, look, we'll summon this because it just comes back anyway. Or does it need to die to come back? We'll just, just stand in front of it. So he'll hopefully kill it. We'll get that back in our hand so that we get it back in our deck. He's summoning a freaking mountain lion cat. And now he's going to be dead. Three health. righty -o. Why did we lose life just then? As you touch the soul gem, the spirit within is released. Boss starting mana at minus three. Nice. Defeat el elites drop gems contain uh, defeated elites drop gems containing their trapped souls. When you pick up a soul gem, its energy is released, weakening the boss of this world who enslaved it. Red soul gems beat max life, and blue does the mana. Okay. Whoa. Um, cultists deal two fire damage to a three three area. Do we choose that area or armor to block inflict remove equipment? Okay. All allies get plus one, plus one. Orcs and goblins get plus two, plus two. Let's take the, the Dreadnought Warrior. Okay. So we can teleport anywhere. Would you like to fast travel here? All right. Is that a spike? I'm going to go around this way just in case. Let's grab a warrior friend. Continue. All right. Taunt, pierce, other ally bandits get plus two health. Wreck, gain plus one, plus one. Triggers after defeating an enemy. 14 health, nice. Oh, you can click and walk as well. Whoa. Is this an elite battle? This looks like an elite battle. The horse demon. Units emanating this aura have taunt. Adjacent enemies cannot flee or act on units except taunt. All right, what's the options here? Let's give this one some armor. How much damage these guys got? Two. We don't have the staff anymore, which is good. Oh, there's another one down here as well. <laughs> They're all like, ah! Um, all right, so they can't get us yet. He can't get us yet. This guy's down there. Let's just armor up. We'll grab this bird down here. And then we'll just relax. We'll just relax. Did 
done. What are you doing to him? You just ate your own guy? He just walked into his own trap? Oh my gosh. These guys. Can't take him anywhere. Um, three, five damage is a lot. So we can take the hit here. Seems smart. But they really don't like fire, do they? Well, this guy gets damage every time. I should have killed him first. Whenever a unit is defeated, gain plus one, plus one. Damn. Well, that sucked. It's getting bigger and bigger. So now we can hit this guy in the back. Let's just summon another dude. I don't think he has any equipment on him. Oh, he hits me. Has he got as many retaliates as he wants? Vigil. Probably means he can attack. Unlimited counterattacks. Yep, I was reading everything. If you run into the uh, trap again, that'd be great. Alright, let's do it. Are you killing that guy now? Alright, how much damage did you just do to her? Decent chunk. But he's only got three health, so this will kill him. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we're pinned? Oh, yeah, because of that thing. So if I attack, I'm going to hit everyone around. Is that just enemies? And one damage to surrounding units. Alright, I guess we'll just use this guy. Because then we get the overkill on him now. Once she gets extra health back. Oh, but then lo lose it again after the fight. Okay. Feeling lost? The key to success in Avalon is understanding the mechanics. But with so much depth, depth, it can only be easily to get lost. Here's some tips. Right click on any unit or tile to view its abilities. Reset tips in the gameplay. Consult the official guide by the menu. Okay. Yes, we're fully healed. All right. We got a Marauder Retarius, armor 2, attacked enemy is ensnared, recover net after enemy is defeated or released. Inflict remove weapon. This guy seems slightly better. Give unit downfall, deal 4 damage to a 3-3 three, three area. And I like people just blocking stuff. But that could be kind of cool as well. Especially on the uh, dragon that can just come back alive all the time. We'll see what it does. I don't know if we get to choose its location or not. Oh man, we've got a couple of fires. Discarding the secret power move. Have you ever found yourself stuck in a hand you can't play or frustrated that you don't have enough mana? Well, I didn't know I could discard. Here's a tip. Remove cards from your hand during your turn by dragging them to the discard pile. This frees your hand to draw new cards Discard two cards in a row to generate an extra mana. If a card has a discard keyword, you'll also receive bonus effects. That's cool. Thanks for that. Let me get a whole lot of more, more stuff. Satchel, armor one. Satchel, armor one. And then... Satchel, equipment, inflict poison one. Okay, we've got five cards still in our, our deck, so let's... Oops, you'll need the boss door. Okay, let's not get him up yet. Can't go that way either. This guy looks tough. These get extra damage. Other skeletons get plus one, plus one, so this guy's got two, two. Okay. It should be fine. So let's... I guess we just do this. It's going to be pretty hard. So we can discard or heal someone. Are you Chaos? No, you're a free will guardian. I guess we'll do... Oh, I don't have that much mana. 
He doesn't have any d buffs on him. We could definitely kill one of these guys. He does two attacks. So that'd be good. 415 is a lot. But I guess we'll discard. How do we discard again? Where we throw them here? Where? We can undo. Do not undo after a surprise is revealed. That's cool. Um, so we want to discard this. Oh, if we discard two, we get our mana back. Oh, but discarding's heaps powerful. Heaps bad, because we're never going to get it again. Alright. More mistakes might have been made. Alright, let's grab this guy. Four damage is a lot. But we'll heal. I don't know if it heals us fully. Aim was true. We don't have Vigilance though, do we? Oh my gosh, we're nearly dead. So this will deal an extra 4 damage. And that'll be 8. And then we'll go and... Go to the campfire. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it goes directly where they are. I'm pretty sure I can just get her back. Hopefully. Um, equip. Plus 1 damage and knock back 2. Place a 0-4 dragon egg with downfall summon a dragon whelp under your control. Fire three bolts that deal two shock damage and daze the closest enemies. I like all these things. Three bolts that deal... Let's do the lightning storm. Try that out. <coughs> Weird fancy pack mill. Some call the cosmic tortoise the con conduit of the cosmos. The universal constant, or what have you. I think that thing is just weird. Walking around all slow and dramatic, opening portals and tottering, toting magic cards for summoners like some kind of fancy pack mule. Yes, that's what I say. The cosmo cosmic turtle is weird. I like weird. Fair enough, mate. We've got 14 dice. It seems like a lot. It might just be me. Let's go and have a little sleep. Um, sleep in this one. I don't know why I want to sleep in that one. It just feels like the first one we should sleep in is this one. Make camp. Oh, greetings. Welcome back. The Lost Guardian recovered. Lost Guardians rejoin your party at camp. Um... From a camp and field, you recruit replacements after losing. Got it. Okay, okay, I think I'm okay. We grab all those cards back. Welcome to the deck editor. The top panel holds the cards in your deck, the bottom panel holds cards in your collection. Drag and drop cards to move them from your collection to your deck. So we can get rid of a couple of cards here if we want now. Like this one's not great. That one is better. That one's pretty good, but we lose our attack. I'm not sure about these. I guess it's quite good because we've got a lot of chaotic enemies. Hell heroes. So that works to our advantage. Alright. I think we're done. We're ready. I can have two companions and you may as well have them because they're good. I just went to that by mistake. Great camp! Alright, should we take on this one? So, let's, yeah, we'll fast travel. Let's take on this skeleton dude. So, I'm going to use some small stuff. Or I could put on her. Let's see if it's just for one battle. Does she actually, she actually has it on her? That's freaking amazing. All right, cool. Um, I feel like we should put these two on our main one later on. We could give her a shield as well. You'd think they'd have a special border if it lasts forever. One time use card that can be played from your satchel while not in combat to prepare for your next battle. Or unlock a benefit. I feel like we're putting too much on her. But we'll see. Let's 
Spell's not going to be that tough. Deal three bolts that deal two damage and daze the closest enemy. She can't actually reach anyone. Enemy Void Necromancer. I've only got one health. So can I hit this trap? No. It's a pity. Whoa. Summon it. Deal two damage and create a 1-1 one -one skeleton warrior. Block surrounded the target. Ah. I see. So every time we hit... Because he retaliated, he summons a warrior automatically. That's pretty damn good. I don't think we need to do anything else. We can't move them around, which is a bit of a problem. Minus two, minus two. Can't counter. That's crappy. You have four damage to an enemy. Ow. Jeez Louise, guys. Alright, we can kill all... We can hit all these guys. So if I attack, he'll just hit me back, which sucks. So we'll just wait. This guy's tough. Start with. I don't... I still don't attack back. Oh, gee, this guy's tough as well. Man. Three bolts that deal two damage. Now we can't attack back. Which is heaps good. It's not enough damage though. We just need to kill this guy. He's got seven. It's a lot. Damn. I don't know if we killed this guy. We're going to have to sleep straight after this. That'll hurt all my guys. It does kill that. Destroy an adjacent enemy minion. What? What kind of spell is that? Just completely blow yourself up. Okay, let's put that on this guy. Kanakazi, did you expect that? Wow, that guy was tough. Stop looking at me. They say that some guides don't take kindly to our practice of looking up to them from or for orders. Wisely, the creator placed what is called a setting in the place called gameplay menu so the guides may confirm behavior like this. Yep. That's all right. They can look at me. That's fine. Uh, do three damage to enemies and freeze them. Frozen enemies can't act except to cast spells until the end of turn. Do two fire damage in a 3-3 area. This one's not bad. to our enemy and freeze them. We've used this a, a decent bit. We haven't clumsily walked into anything just yet, so that's good. I don't know if we... I don't think we want to sleep just yet, even though it's getting a bit scary. Just a deserted location. Oh. In Cardo's House of Hopeless Heroes. A shadowy figure closely watches over two caged heroes in the room. It gestures to them to signal they are for sale. Then it opens a book of spells and beckons you to come closer to view its weirds. So we can buy a hero or buy some spells. This looks decently nice. Steal a card from an enemy summoner's hand and play it on the closest valid target. Wow, that's kind of cool. They got stuff like that going on. 
frees all units on the board except the timekeepers. Three point palm, deal three damage, knock back three to adjacent enemy and give the downfall, deal three damage to three times three area. Man. 500? Attempt to free the hero. Vigil. If attacked, unit has two or less life, attack again. If attacked, unit has two or less life, attack again. Okay, so you can kill people that have three, four, five health. This unfortunate hero was captured by Encado, who offers to sell them for 500 gold. I don't know if I'm ready to take this guy on if we don't su succeed. This looks very poisonous. I'm immune to poison if I take that potion. We can always retreat out of a room. Oh, it's a freaking nice place. 17. I feel like we retreat here. Anchor, downfall, deal one damage to surrounding units and poison one, collide, destroy this. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we probably should have our friend with us here. Bum bum! Let's go down here. Another dude? God, they've got a lot of high health minions. What is this guy like? 8 health. 11 health. Oh, wow. Alright, we are getting into problematic areas. Whoa! Summoner, immune free, immune to free, swipe and knock back. Bone Crusher. Jeez. Can we take this guy out? He's a summoner though. Summon, cast spells, if yours dies, you lose. Alright, we're going to have to use these camps. We've got two. Oh, what's that? Minions, elite. We've still got two more things we can grab. That's just a corridor. Could just walk, but we're lazy. A fairy. Excited by your presence, the fairy gives you an alluring look and offers to grant you a wish in exchange for a kiff. kiss. We'll give it a little kiss. Is that? It's going to trick us though, isn't it? Oh God. As you kiss the fairy, you feel a life force being drained. Suddenly the fairy transforms. She is actually a succumbus in su succumbus into the skies. Great. Sedate, she runs away. Intrigued by you, she offers to join your team. Alright, let's put in five. That should give us a pretty good chance of getting her. Only just. Oh, we got two. Let's inspect her. Th two eight. Flying, taunt, vigil, inflict, zero to one, gain one. Transforms, continue. Huh, okay. Come along and join us. What is a loyal unit? Joins the party as a loyal. Loyal units remain in your party after battle. When loyal units join you from events in the world, they remain in your party until they are defeated in battle. If a loyal unit is summoned by a card in your deck, it will return to the deck when resting at a camp or if it's defeated during battle. Okay. So it's just a... Yeah, it's just following me, isn't it? Can I destroy these things? No. Isn't it just a guardian? I don't know what the difference is. So she can attack back as many times she wants. She's flying. Okay. Another cap. That's amazingly good. Deal three shock damage to an enemy and daze them. It's not bad. Uh, deal four damage to a void unit or heal an ally four. We should probably heal. Heal. 
Oh, this is easy though. We can take these guys out. Come along. I can't attack and fight at the same time. So we just wait one more turn here. Oh, they're being smart about it, are they? Okay, so she got an extra health there. But we can't move her back afterwards. But then she can... She, she doesn't keep her health though, does she? And I can't... I can hit both, so that's fine. So she'll lose it now? Yeah, okay. I gained four health. Do I recover every time I come out? Taunt. When injured by an attack, that enemy feels its pain. Cannot flee or act on units except Taunter. Feels its pain. Does that mean it's got um, thorns? So many cards. Got one piece of lore left. I've only got one key, which is probably for this chest. More money. Start next battle with one extra mana. Okay. And this is the same fight we were just at. Alright, so we've got some hard fights up ahead. Um, can we complete one with this lady? It's a good question. Can we steal someone from this guy? It feels like a bad idea, but it might be interesting to see what happens. And... Then we've got the boss. So this has taken nearly an hour. So I think we'll wait. We'll stop it here. And then we'll jump in and do these fights and then in the and then we'll jump to the next area retries left two okay so you can get to reset a fight or if we die we can retry it twice maybe so that's interesting as well all right guys thank you so much for watching we'll jump back in next time and take two elite bosses one minion boss uh minion room and then the boss itself looking forward to it White Falcon, out.